everyone. Happy Friday. Today is my last technical work day dealing with grades. I am so super excited about that. You have no idea. So we're going to do that and then tomorrow I'll go in and post grades. Um, so when I'm done this afternoon, I'm done. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to post those grades and move on with that. Yeah, so I'm excited, excited about that. Uh, this morning I am doing a really hard workout. I'm going to bring you along. There are five different exercises that I have to do. There are one, not lunges, they are burpees, but I do step out burpees, but they call them hip thrusts. Uh, I can't jump back with as much weight as I have. That would be bad. So I do step out burpees. Then I have 30, I think, push-ups to do. And I'll put all of this up on the screen as well. So if I miss quit, you'll see what I'm doing. Uh, so then I have my push-ups, then I have jumping jacks, I do step-out jacks for that, again, protecting my knees, ankles, joints, and things like that. It was much weight I have on it. I don't want to do any injuries and put myself out even further out than what I want to be to hopefully reach my goals this year. So that's the third one was my jumping jacks, and I have air squats, and then high knees. So those are the five different exercises, and they increase by 10 reps. So I start out with 20, then goes 30, 40, 50, 60 through each of the... It's only one round for each exercise, but like the burpees would be 20, then the next exercise would be 30, and so forth. So it's going to kick my butt. It's a pretty much a full body workout for doing all of that, so I'm excited about that. Not so excited uh, that I uh, sabotaged myself this week uh, eating Pringles. So a lot of the weight that I gained, I know it has to be water weight. Between that and cereal, I don't think cereal would put that much on because it was the Kashi Go Lean cereal. It may have impacted some of my weight gain, but I think most of it's water weight from eating several, several cans of Pringles. So I need to not have that in my house this upcoming week. So yeah, so. I know I gained the one pound from my original weight back and then I think I put on the three extra pounds so I think that's pretty much water weight for the most part for that so I'm hoping I can at least shed some of that today because I have no more Pringles or anything like that in my house and I'm not going to purchase any when I do my Instacart uh, to bring in breakfast type items to the house. I need to work on water intake to help maybe flush some of this out. And so those, that's kind of where I'm at on my health journey. It, I tend to do that until I really start making some headway. So I just need to tighten down more so on this extra stuff that I buy. So the Freshly Mills are going good. I've really enjoyed the majority of the ones that I ate this week. So I'm happy with that. I will have another one of those boxes coming in this week as well to, later on today. So I'll have those. Those are going really good. I'm enjoying those as well. It's the extra stuff that I'm buying through Instacart that is damaging, I think, my weight loss. But that's okay, we're going to tighten it up this next week, focus again, drinking more water, and I had a few sodas when I went out and got a breakfast item, so I need to cut that back out, even though that doesn't affect, it was a diet, so it was zero calories, I think it's the sugars, that can also impact that as well. But anyways, that's kind of where I'm at this morning, so I'll bring you along as normal, I'm just have a safe zone. I know my burpees are not going to be great as good form as other people have. It's the best that I can do. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. Um, I'll bring you along with that. Uh, work on grades if I have anything um, in my email to grade. And then reading. I will check back in with you guys later and tell you my kind of minimal goals for my books and all of that. So I want to go in and get my workout in. You may hear some thunder going on. Um, I know it rained just a few minutes ago. It's going to be, I think, intermittent uh, shower. So after I do the app workout, it will determine whether I'm going to go and attempt my walk or not, or just say, call it quits and just do a video. I'm probably just going to do a video for the, I don't want to get soaked. <laughs> going on with this weird weather we have today. So anyways, I will check back in with you guys later. Three, two, one, go.
just got back from the walk. I burned over 500 calories again. Um, it actually turned out to be a pretty good um, day outside. It, it was very rainy and stormy earlier this morning, but when I was walking, it became less cloudy, more blue sky was being shown, so it was very pretty. It was cool, but not cold, so it was perfect temp uh, for the exercise. So I was happy about that, having to play with the girl next so she won't rub up on the tripod. So I'm a little distracted, but yeah, we're gonna make it work. It's the joys of having cats and trying to vlog at the same time or film in general. And then I've got Jester wanting attention. And now here's Romeo. So we're, the whole gang is here today <laughs> for this check-in. Uh, so I was very pleased with my work today and I'm hoping I can shed some of this water weight that I have picked up from my poor eating choice of snack um, and all of that. So we're going to hope that will at least come down a little bit so I won't have gained as much for my actual progress check-in tomorrow. I'm hoping to have uh, some inches gone maybe, um, so at least I have something positive to reflect on. So that's where my health journey is at currently. So for some reading goals. With Possess, I'm on chapter 7, so I did get some reading done this week. So I'd like to at least read two chapters uh, today. If I get more than that done, that's awesome. So there is that goal, so a minimum goal of at least two chapters. Same thing with Twilight, I am on chapter seven as well. So I would like to get another couple of chapters done uh, for that as well. Uh, so another two chapters or more uh, today. Um, if I can at least do two chapters a day, I know I can knock this book out by the end of next week. But again, if I get involved in the book and it holds my attention long enough, then I will read more than that, but minimum goals at least two chapters. I am on chapter five. This is the one I've read out the least. Uh, it's just because this week has been very low energy, I'm not felt on, on point, so longer chapters have been a challenge for me. So The Well of Ascension, I'm on chapter five. I'd like to at least read two chapters to get to either to chapter seven or to chapter eight, depending on how you want to do the math for that. So that's kind of, so I need to read chapter five and chapter six. So that would leave me at chapter seven um, for my two chapters. So that is my reading goals for today. Again, I'm going to be focusing on in just a few minutes after I get cleaned up from my workout to uh, do any grading that I need to do um, as normal and then pretty much the rest of the day going to be reading um, and all of that. I might go out today to do, I need to get a desk because the other one that I had ordered, I had ordered two at the same time from which one came in, one did not um, and they said, oh, it's in process, it's in processing. It never did ship. I contacted them and they, you know, the first time and they said it was still processing and it's waiting to be shipped. So I gave it about another, another month and then I uh, messaged them, I think it was yesterday or Wednesday, and told them it still hasn't um, sent, so they're refunding me the money for that item and it was like $78, $80, somewhere around in there. So I was kind of disappointed, so uh, they're going to end up being mismatched. I like the idea of it earlier because they were both going to be the same type of desk. One was just going to be a little bit longer, but that's no longer the case. So uh, I've got to find something that will somewhat match in there uh, for aesthetic wise. So not exactly thrilled with it, but I'm not really that surprised either. We're going to make it work because um, I need to get rid of the other um, little card table type thing that I'm using currently and it makes filming and editing the videos and stuff better and hopefully it won't take up near as much room as that wider card table does but that's kind of my goal today if i don't get over to target today then i will do that tomorrow over the weekend so that is kind of where we're at so i hope you guys are having a great friday morning so far and i will check back with you guys later bye well good evening everyone i hope you have had a fantastic friday i it's really late so my mind is kind of discombobulated a little bit 
But I did want to give you an update. This is the only book I have read today. I didn't make my goals on the other two. I didn't even pick them up. I got so involved with reading Possess, I didn't want to put it down. It was so good. It was just constantly put you back and forth. Who did it? Who's responsible? Who is your mystery uh, person? Uh, it was great. I want to do a full review on this later, so I don't want to go into more of that, but it was an awesome read. I'm definitely interested in reading more by Gretchen McNeil, or at least looking into her other options of books that she has written, and see if there's another that um, is equally as good as this one. But I was so thrilled um, with reading this. It was creepy, it had a lot of tension, the pace was great. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking forward to reading more from her. Um, tomorrow, I would like to um, read out of my other two books and maybe at least get my minimum goals of reading two chapters from those. I don't want to pick up any other books because we only have one more week left for this month, so I need to start getting my um, May wrap-up together of all the books I've read this month and also get my June TBR going as well, so I need to go back um, to the two unboxings to see which book um, out of those four books, uh, which two made uh, made it to my June TBR, so I'm looking forward to that because um, I did polls for those two books to see which one you guys thought were the most interesting out of those four books for me to pick up. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing that and getting those ready for next month to end up this month and then also for that. Um, so yeah, um, again, it's really late, so my mind is kind of scattered and all over the place, but it's been a good day. We've had a lot of thunderstorms intermittent throughout. Um, my vlog from last weekend is uh, trying to be uploaded, and it's been going since about, I think, 3 or 4 o'clock today, and it still hasn't uploaded. I know there was an internet that went down, and then it's come back on, and it was continuing on from there um, with these weird storms. Didn't lose power or anything, but something tripped it, so who knows uh, with technology and all of that. But yeah, so it's going up um, fairly smooth, so tomorrow morning I'll finish out the back end stuff that I need to do with it, and then I'll get it posted, of course, at uh, 10 o'clock or so in the morning, and yeah. So I've taken melatonin to help me sleep. Um, Hopefully I'll sleep for at least seven hours. I prefer eight um, for the weight loss deal and all of that. So yeah, so we'll see what progress I've made. Hopefully I'll drop some of a little bit of the water weight that I've gained that I talked about earlier and all of that. But enough of this rambling. I need to go to bed um, and then I will check back in with you guys tomorrow with an update on my health journey and then depending on weather as to what workout I do to finish out this week of workout, uh, the six workouts, six days of workouts, um, and then Sunday is kind of my rest day, even though I do go for a walk with my bestie, um, it's not a structured walk like it's been with the app and things. But yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the night if you're still up, and I will talk with you tomorrow morning. Good night! Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm getting a late start to today. I mean, I was up at my normal time, but I finished and finalizing out my grades. There's now a technical issue that I'll have to call somebody after I get back from my walk to figure out what's going on with the tech issue. Yeah, just perfect. Um, so again, I had an extremely late night, and then I only got about five or so hours of sleep, so of course I already knew I was going to gain weight. What I didn't realize this week, I also gained and gained all my inches back plus some. So some stats right now, my total inches when I started was 193.5, that's full body uh, counting for those inches. And this is phase one, week three, and I'm at a total of 195 inches. So I went from what I originally lost back to my starting inches and then some. So that was not 
Not what I wanted this week, this check-in, but I'm not surprised with the water weight, so I'm definitely bloated for sure. So I'm going to try to take something that will help flush out uh, the extra sodium and water weight that I've put on. I'm going to work on drinking my water and all of that good stuff, the things I know I need to do. And I need to break these really bad habits that I've gotten into eating-wise because that is definitely having a huge impact with that so I may go out to the store when I go out later and get some more maybe some fruits and vegetables like carrots and things like that uh, apples grapes those types of things to be snacks to replace all of these really high sodium things that I'm eating snacking wise trying to cut out all of these sugary things that I've been eating and I've done better with that but I think I may have to find an alternate for my cereal intake because I think that actually had more of an impact than I thought it was having. So all of that type of good stuff. Uh, so that's where I'm at on my health journey. Again, I'm going to go for my uh, walk, my three mile walk, doing the thrilling 30s. That's 30 seconds high intensity, 30 seconds low intensity. Going to get that knocked out, come back, finish out hopefully my grade book and once we figure out that whole tech issue and all of that good stuff. And then I'm reading. I'm going to try to knock out Twilight. That's going to be a huge, at least try to get to the halfway point. That would be a goal. At least halfway, if not all done with this book um, by this weekend is my goal for this. I know by end of Sunday, if I'm seriously reading on it and not doing weird random other things, uh, then I should do, I should be able to knock this out. But we'll see. So I'll go by the end of Sunday when I check in with you guys. I would love to have this book done. And then next week work on Well of Ascension. If that book goes over into June, I'm 100% okay with that. I want to enjoy the books. I don't want to rush through them. Twilight I've read many times, so I do want to kind of knock it out. But my new things like Brandon Sanderson, it takes time to absorb his whole world building and character development and plot and all of that. It takes some time to really absorb it and let it sink in. But once again, I hit my stride with the book, it's going to go. I know that now with his writing. So that is my plan for reading goals. I would love to finish that one out and then start working on my way through Well of Ascension. Those are the only book, books I really would like to work on this week. But anyways, let me go on and get my walks done and then get back and do what I need to do. And I hope you guys have a great morning and I will catch you guys later. Mm. Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Saturday. Again, I'm playing with my kitties, so they will leave the tripod alone. Uh, it's been a very interesting day. It took all day to get the technical issue fixed. Somehow something came unclicked for this nine weeks. Not sure how, not sure why. Uh, one class was perfectly fine. That one, the others, not so much. But again, it was an easy click, click, fix, done. And then I checked on my grades and the kids are all good for this nine weeks and for the year as a whole. Uh, so that's finally done. I got that all settled out about four or five o'clock um, this evening. So that did, so I didn't get as much done. I did take a nap earlier because I was really tired from only getting five hours of sleep uh, the previous night because I wanted to finish out Possess. And again, that was an awesome book and I have some ideas of what I want to do with it and other books in general. So hopefully this idea will take off and I'll get quite a bit of views for those new videos that I would like to put out. Who knows, it may take off and it may be good. I don't know. Yeah, you won't know until you try. So my reading goal was to read two chapters out of Twilight. Um, I did finally manage to do that. Uh, so I am now on chapter 9 is where I left off. So I read chapter 7 and chapter 8. Those are the two chapters I wanted to get done. I wasn't sure if that was going to happen tonight because I am still really tired and I want to go to bed at a decent time tonight and hoping to get my weight loss journey back on track. So I did drink quite a bit of water today. I didn't uh, purchase the Pringles or anything that was not good for me for this upcoming week. I did do my reward for my uh, reset day, which is today, um, to 
Again, I'm going to myself because I did show up to pretty much all my workouts this week except for Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday, I, I packed up my classroom and then Wednesday, I was just out of it. But anyways, so I did do that. But I did manage to make this goal. I don't even know how I got off of that tangent when I was supposed to be talking about the book. But I did make uh, my two chapter goal for this one today. So tomorrow I would like to read chap at least chapters 9 and 10, if not further. We'll see how uh, tomorrow goes because I don't need to go out uh, really anymore this weekend. I'm pausing on the desk until I get some debt paid off, um, which did finally refund that money. So that is back on my account, but I do want to pay it down a little bit further before I do purchase a desk. Uh, so yeah, so I'm waiting on to get my desk. Um, for a little bit, maybe next month or the month after, I can um, repurchase, not repurchase, but um, find one that I like to go in that room. But that is kind of where I'm at, so tomorrow should be a full, pretty much reading day <laughs> uh, for that. And side note, my health journey is going to be even more interesting because I decided, unconsciously undecided, I went to pick up one of my uh, chair cushions for the kitchen table and when I did that my toes on my right side foot um, hit the metal leg of the table and one of my toes is very swollen now, um, not hugely swollen, I can still move it but it's kind of painful to walk so we're going to attempt the walk tomorrow, it's going to be at a much slower pace and hopefully I can stand to have a shoe on my foot so right now I can stand having a sock on it because um, it makes walking easier when I have that on versus when it's off. I'm not sure why that is. Um, so I'm hoping with the shoe on it will also increase the mobility aspect. So that's going to make that interesting as well as my workouts. Uh, I've got some tough workouts coming this week, so I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do that. But we're going to make it work. I want to be um, as active. I may not be able to go full force, but I want to still be in motion of doing something somehow, um, but not overly injure myself and not have it healed. So hopefully tomorrow, do the easy walk, um, just again to stay in motion, but not following a set time um, to do that. So that is kind of where my Saturday ended. Yes, I'm a complete klutz. I admit that wholeheartedly. So that is interesting. Um, yeah, I think uh, this might have been the same foot about two or three years ago that I, uh, when I got up, because I was completely out of it, a lot of lack of sleep going on, and I went to turn on the light and I slammed into one of my walls that juts out further than it's uh, than a typical wall would do, and I nailed it. It's not as intense as that one was. I jammed the entire set of two toes entirely all the way up to my foot. This time I just jammed, I think, the first digit um, to it. So a lot different than that, but still extremely painful. Not broken because I can still move it. It just kind of hurts right now. But anyways, I'm going to call it a night. I hope you have a great night, and until tomorrow's check-in, I hope you have a good one. Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I didn't sleep as well as I thought I would last night, even with the melatonin on board. Uh, my body was just hurting, my toe was hurting, um, then my lower back started, so I don't know if I twisted it wrong when I hit my knee or what's going on. So I couldn't really get comfortable last night, but I did sleep off and on, so that's good. Um, positive note, with the small changes that I did make yesterday, with my food intake, my water intake, and all of that, I'm down 1.6 pounds, so the water weight is starting to flush out, so I'm really excited about that. So I knew it was pretty much had to be water weight. There's no way I gained that much fat, um, but I know maybe a little bit of it is, but I think mainly it's just sodium intake was too high. My body held on to all of that water. So I'm gonna continue drinking my water and doing all of that. Uh, it's 
Yeah, I think it's about as swollen as it can get, so there's not a lot of skin there for it to expand upon. But yeah, I can still bend it, so bend and flex it. It hurts more when I flex it than when I bend it down. Um, so yeah, it, it's pretty jammed on that front. Uh, swollen and bruised up, so yay on that. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out uh, one of my moves tomorrow. I think it's mountain climber, so I may try to do them maybe against my door uh, to my house, uh, standing up, or either that, or I will do just high knees, but in a march versus the jumping, because I don't think that would be good to do a jumping one with my toe the way it is, because you don't have that stability that I'm used to. So, and then I think the others are uh, knees to elbows, so an ab exercise, and then um, air squats. So I think I should be able to do air squats fine. Um, the other one that I'm worried, more worried about um, tomorrow is the mountain climbers because you're up on your toes and the arch of your feet, and I don't think my toe is going to handle that very well. But yeah. Uh, so later today, so that's kind of a preview for uh, Monday's workout that I'm already thinking about how this is also going around and around my brain last night of what I needed to do uh, for that. So I think I've got a good plan for Monday's workout today. It's just going to be a gentle stroll. Uh, I know there are hills, but I'm taking them slow. My goal is just to be up and moving. I don't want to become catatonic and just sit. Um, all day because I'll be doing enough of that later. I want to do some editing out on this vlog later today, some segments, and then get it done throughout the week, and then possibly film some videos this during the week um, since work is pretty much done outside of Tuesday, which will be my closing out of my room and doing my end of the year checklist stuff that we have to do. So there is that. Um, and then just trying to make some more goals, again, minimum uh, two chapters out of Twilight minimum throughout the day, again, there are longer chapters, so it takes me a little bit longer, around 30 or so pages each, 20, 20, and 30. Um, so I range about 60 pages thereabouts or more for um, every two chapters. So I'm about a quarter of the way done with the book, but if I can get at least two chapters or more read, then I know I can finish it out this week. It may not end up in my wrap up because I do need to go and get it filmed as long, along with also my June TBR, which I've already written down everything I think that I want to read. So, and then start gathering up my books for that. So there is that. So that's my goal for here. Minimum two chapters or more today. Um, I definitely think I could do that if I'm reading and not going to be going out or around town or anything today because I did that yesterday, which also took up quite a bit of time while on top of having a late start yesterday. So I think I can get at least my minimum goals done. Um, I would love to be able to get further in the book um, than that, but at least you'll see. And I will check back in with you guys later and tell you how the walk went and all of that stuff. Um, I hope you guys have a great morning so far. Talk to you guys later. Well, good evening and happy Sunday evening. And I hope you guys have had a fantastic weekend. I will say overall, I think I've had a great reading weekend. Um, I did meet my goal of reading chapters, I believe it was 9 and 10. And I stopped at chapter 14, so I met my minimum goal, and then I read a few more chapters on top of that. So I was very happy with that, so I'm a little over the halfway point now. So I think in the next few days, if I continue again, minimum goals of reading two chapters a day, I should have this completed by the end of this week. I'm not going to push it. Uh, if I finish it before the end of the week, that's great. If I don't, that's good too. It will roll over into June's TBR. Um, it won't be listed at, on my TBR list because it's for the Romanceopoly. So I don't include those books um, on that list. They're just extra books I read um, for that readathon. So happy about that. I've got Romeo who wants to say good night to you guys as well. I've got Nix over here. And then Jester in front of the chair. So the gang is all here uh, to say have a great weekend, uh, night, and pretty much 
all where we're at. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave me comments down below. What are some other things that you would like to see? I know we're limited with being still um, kind of shut in right now. Um, but my weekends are generally uh, pretty chill. So this is kind of kind of ideal, kind of what I do. Um, pretty much not a lot of variants. Hopefully when the pool is able to get up, I might be able to film some on my phone if and when we go out. I don't tend to stay out very long because with my very pale complexion, I tend to burn no matter what strength of sunscreen I use. It is just generally what happens. So I'm not a sun, sun baby that often, um, but I do try to get out a little bit um, to enjoy the sun. Um, I love getting to do my walks here. This um, weather has been awesome for that. Um, we've had kind of intermittent storms today is again as well. So, But anyways, um, I guess uh, that's where I'm going to leave you guys. And until next weekend's vlog, I hope you have a great one. Good night.